she had this one too. She had this one too. Let's see if we can open it. Oh yeah. One dollar. <laughs> one dollar. I think this is a 221 model. Uh, it's got a nice kit. Well cared for. No video. What's going on? Here we are with a uh, yard sale haul. Yeah. So yard sale time. Um, it was a progressive yard sale. I'll go to the clip to where I started. Well, actually, I'll go to the clip to where I ended the um, progressive yard sale, and then we'll come back. And this is what I got. Come back. Keys. Uh, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot with the brake system here. Yeah. But uh, one sewing machine at least does 300 bucks. At least I I haven't even really looked at it. Uh, I've found it twice already, and I saw it there for a dollar. So it's like jumping on it and. There was literally nobody at this one yard sale. Nobody stopped there, because if somebody did stop there, nothing would have been there. And I walked up, <laughs> I should have started recording it. Um, but I did make a contact, so it was maybe helpful that I didn't record it. Yard sales everywhere. This is no, no, go ahead. No, you can go. It's okay. Um, yard sales everywhere, but I saw it there for a dollar, and once I saw that um, one sewing machine, yeah, they got a bunch of clocks in here that make a bunch of noise. Uh, once I had that, I knew it was pretty good. Um, I knew to keep going and spend the rest of the five. And I said to her, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna clean you out. All right, uh, it, I'm, I'm letting you know now that I'm gonna clear you out and your, your yard sale's pretty much all over. Uh, so I pretty much grabbed everything in the whole yard sale, put it all in one big pile just in case if somebody else stopped there. And then uh, I had our price quote me, uh, you know, how much? Sadly, the husband came out uh, right when she was doing her pricing and I, he wasn't attached to something, but he was a scrapper. So it's kind of upset that she sold um, two items for two bucks each. And then like the brass uh, stand up light uh, conversion of the uh, fire extinguisher. And he was like, those are $20 each in scrap. What are you doing? He didn't even flinch. And I gave him another eight dollars on top of it for his uh, scrap efforts to make him feel that his, you know, scrapping due diligence isn't uh, gonna go unpaid. And well, I mean, all in all, pretty good. Definitely some true antiques. Uh, I'm gonna go home, handle a few things, and then we're gonna fire back up the camera. We're gonna pull everything out and I'm gonna give you price quotes of everything that I found and the abilities of what you can do at a progressive yard sale or yard sale with $500 and um, $500. Uh, granted, I, I, I will say I did hit two really good sales, which if you hit enough of them, you're gonna hit two two good ones probably out of, say you hit 20, you're gonna hit two good ones. I know I'm not looking at you. Pay attention to the road. So if you hit 20 yard sales, you're gonna hit two good ones and that's gonna be uh, your upper edge on when you spent 500 of accumulated dollars. So, uh, <laughs> 
as a uh, good friend Tahira would say, you gotta spend money to make money. That's the way the business operates. If you don't spend any money, you can't make any money. Um, and he's right. He is right. So, with that being said, again, 500. I know I got at least almost my money back. And one item, go back, go through it, go back. All right, good video, here we go. So, I'm gonna kind of just try to push through. Um, and I'll try to tell you what I paid for whatever. Uh, so I got this, this nice little pewter thing. I kind of really like this, this is kind of cool. It's got the shaggy dog and a child. I'm gonna list this for 50 bucks. It's numbered. Um, I don't think I've seen one sell, but somebody has one for 45 so um, we'll try to just play the market a little. Then I paid a dollar for that. Then we have this Thomas the Train lot here. There's 23 tapes, uh, 50 cents each. And we're going to list all these at 120 um, Those should sell for around 100 Uh This Turtles April O'Neil, I'm going to list this at 25 I paid a dollar for it. Um, yeah, it does okay. Uh, I think all turtle stuff does pretty good. Um, so where I picked up this pewter thing and this Morley pedal right here. I paid 15 for this Morley, so I should be able to double up. I think it's a, I think it's a $50 pedal. Uh, I paid 15 and it should sell for at least, at least 35. I grabbed this PS3 with that Morley and this little piece of pewter at one yard sale. This is a um, com backwards compatible PS3. Does the number of this is the number you want? It's a C E C H E O one. It's a backwards compatible. Paid 10. I'm gonna make a bundle. Should get 250 for this. That's what I got last time for the last one that I sold. Um, I could just maybe list this console with nothing and get probably 200 for it. I've seen them sell for 300 with just just that console, but it's got some scuffs and stuff, so um, is what it is. This little interesting thermostat, uh, hydrometer, and clock with pen. This little shelf thing, probably 20, 25, 30 bucks for that. Uh, I paid a dollar for that. Carrying on. All right, I got this whole bag of clip on off for five bucks. There's eight of them, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, with some refills. Uh, I'm gonna grind them out. Eight bucks each or something, ten bucks each. So, seventy ish. Uh, five bucks for both. You got a dollar into this model here. You got a dollar into that model there. Um, five bucks each, probably. Uh, we got this docking station. I'll have to look this up. I don't know if this is uh, recent, old. I don't. I don't know. But somebody, somebody will use it. Looks like it's got a little uh, water damage within the thing, but that should be okay. Paid 15 basically for everything in this bag with the uh, off. And then I paid a dollar for this little uh, buffing tool that we'll put in the store. Nice little buffing tool. Let me back out. I don't know why 
have the camera so close, but it is. Uh, we got the Scarvin Nuvi and the Scarvin uh, something. Okay, those usually do 10 to 30, depending on what's going on there. Uh, I got a mag light, does at least five. Got the flea. Carrying on. We'll come back to this clock and this old pal, but got this data blade set for five bucks. I think I'm gonna get 30 out of that. It's a couple PC games and a couple other games. Um, I gotta look them up. Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, For Honor Marching Fire. No clue yet. Got this giant turtles uh, puzzle. This does about 30. I paid a dollar for it. And this large 1 16th scale MG TC midget 1946 model complete. This does about 50. At least it does 30 uh, on, on the low. At that same sale, I got this uh, Delta. It's a tendon. It's a tendon jig. It has a little rust. The guy had it out in the yard. It did rain during this yard sale. Um, but this easily does a uh, 100. That's a good tool. I got a... I paid five for that. Five bucks. Five bucks on the Delta. Paid 15 for this. The guy had it marked at 35, which is kind of... Eh. I offered him 15. He took it. It's a DCD 970. I'm going to list it for 89. It's got two batteries and a charger. I'm going to pick this up for a buck 50. This is a uh, St. Joseph, Michigan auto spec manufacturing company jack. It's got a nice little adjuster here. Adjustment here. It's a nice little jack. Probably 10, 20 bucks. Paid 20 bucks for everything here. Uh, mainly I just wanted this draw knife. And everything else was the buffer. Uh, you can't see a maker. I'll have to sand that out a little bit. But very, very long. It's like a... Uh, 16 inch 16 inch draw there's a good uh, ruler that was in that lot it's a Tumaco which is good uh, two other rulers to add to a ruler lot uh, and just a couple other hand tools bits and bobs knobs and jobs nice little uh, Walton clamp it's a 202. No, it's a 204. Moving on. We'll get into this lot here. Um, this is pretty much, I spent 200 for everything here. Uh, she wasn't in the mood for haggling, but I felt it was fair considering all the um, Apple equipment in here. There's uh, dongles, or whatever these are, uh, the power supplies, There's a couple of mouses in here, uh, lots of cable. There's probably about 20 power supplies, some bigger ones, some smaller. So, so some newer and some older, but I think I think two I think I can get two hundred out of this whole tote for sure. Um, I was mainly buying these three boxes here, and I uh, just asked if I could have this box here just in case that there was parts that went with it all. She said yeah, so 
this was free. Um, there's some new wires and stuff. Um, some more Apple adapters and other Apple extensions and stuff like that. Some other Apple products here. There's a full kit right there. And then there is eight of these Polycom 8800s in this box. So that's kind of cool. Um, these, those do about 150-ish. Um, so that's definitely a home run right there. Um, moving on, he paid 10 for this very large tote of uh, Lincoln Log in block type material. Uh, a dollar for a sink. Oh, we ain't gonna get into that yet. We ain't gonna get into that yet because that's one. This is all one haul over here. I want to show you that separately. This was another house. Um, I paid eighty for everything. Uh, mainly, he wanted a hundred for everything. So I grabbed this buck knife. Nice buck knife. Let's check it out. I didn't even look at it. It is a 105 buck with the sheath. Um, that's a good knife. It's probably 30, 35 bucks. Hold on, let me just get that back in there. All right, so I tossed that in. I said 80 for all that. So we got some different magazines. It's not all these. It's more comics than these magazines. These magazines probably do better than these comics, but um, it's just all random comics. There was some Micronaut in there. So um, there was some couple other older comics in here. Nothing great that I noticed, but um, there's a max number two right there. It's kind of decent. Uh, image John Stromston's tribe. Stroman. Uh, the number one. It's decent. And then a uh, Justice League lot. So not bad. Not bad. And then... I mean, what can you... I don't even know what you guys saw. Let's see. Some more current. Uh, Moon Knight. Of Green Lantern. So, Green Lantern and Moon Knight mostly. Uh, here's a box of Leaf, uh, 91 Leaf. Leaf's pretty good. Uh, it's baseball, I believe. Yep, baseball. Uh, some wrestling cards. The bugs are coming out. That's a number one. That's a number two. Some Iron Man. Number one X Factor. I don't know if that's a, a newer series or whatever. It's another X Factor. I jumped on it because it was a two-part of this cable. I remember owning this cable, uh, so I was like, ow. I'll, I'll jump in there. Cable's cool. I love, always like cable. He kept saying these were mint. <laughs> I was laughing. <laughs> well, inside I was laughing. It's like, these are mint. 
in condition. Some other Micronauts. Number seven Micronaut. Number eight Micronaut. Number 58 Micronaut. Let's see what else we got in here. Just trying to see if there's like something that pops out, you know? You never know. One second. All right, and then the last of those were kind of beat up. They were mostly uh, Avengers and mm, X-Factor. Okay, moving on. So this one sale gave me hope. For the rest of the day uh i was kind of not really doing that well early on in the morning we started off with this clock um mostly everything at this yard sale i paid 80 dollars for everything that i'm going to show you now um so by numbers i mean everything was a dollar each easy maybe less maybe 70 cents so uh we got this clock here it's all handmade and hand painted uh it's all mortised and nailed with old nails and it's nice it's at least 50 dollar clock um we get this old pal and i'm gonna list this at 30 that consistently sells at 30 if uh you want to be if i want to be honest it does um, also with this uh, lot right here, we got these hockey cards, and there's a box of wrestling. I think there's a box of wrestling cards in here somewhere. Yeah, wrestling cards. No clue about anything of that. Um, all right, this is like the antique, antique. -y. Antiquey stuff. And yeah, we found real antiques. You get a box of uh, possible, possibly some silver in here. Definitely a good amount of pewter and uh, sterling. Um, moving on. We'll pop them open and I'll show them to you. This is a G4131635. I kind of forget where they keep the symbol. Uh, I forget where they keep the marking on this one, but anyway, it's got this nice etched piece on the side here. It's got nice paint. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar Singer sewing machine. Amen. This came with it. This one particular machine. Some bits. Maybe there's a curved needle in here. Well, the curved needles do well, but uh, not bad one dollar, right? Huh? Right? Okay, moving on. Uh, she had this one too. She had this one too. Let's see if we can open it. Oh, yeah. One dollar. I think this is a 221 model. Uh, it's got a nice kit. Well cared for. Let me pull it out. I 
think it's a 220. One. Singer sewing machine. I haven't really looked up sewing machines in a while. nice I'm thinking uh thinking this is a home to the run very large home run here Let's get the other side of it so we'll look it up we'll figure it out I'm pretty sure it's not on the bottom no. We'll have to match it by size. Um, but I think it's a 221. Which, you can't beat that. You can't beat that for a dollar. That's the best thing you can find for a dollar, let me tell you. Let's see. Oh, this might be this. You get it nice. There we go. Bam, bam. One dollar. I love finding those. That's my third one I've found for that model. Then we had some uh, like a scale, all American family scale. That's yeah, good in the middle. Yeah, it's nice a little scale, five bucks or so. And a bunch of little trinkets and stuff. I kind of dig in this top. these tea things in there with that some other tea stuff some uh, green glass it's got uh, markings on the bottom some of these are probably worth something right here even these little uh, knives are probably worth something yeah look at these little forks Interesting. This stuff's cool. Uh, I paid 10 for everything right there. But it was within that this, uh, bulk lot, which had this cracked duck. She's okay. He's still kind of cool. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's shot. I just took him with us, you know. Um, maybe, the, maybe the bottom's good. Maybe the bottom's salvageable. Maybe it's not common. You gotta, you gotta figure all that out. Let me get this thing, which I don't know who makes this one. Um, yeah, uh, it's cast. It's got the horses and the driver in the carriage, front end. Uh, two drivers. Two, I think two white horses and two black horses. And then I get all these little, um, like soapstone animals. These are kind of cool. stuff. Uh, 
we get these little tables. We got these lamps that were the old fire extinguishers. Got a little scale. We got two Tonka trucks. We got some uh, roachy old books, which are still kind of cool. Uh, she said this part went to a bubbler. So we have a part to a bubbler, but I'm not sure. I think that went to like almost some kind of food processor, maybe. I'm not too sure. This uh, General Mills uh, grocery store type thing. This uh, Zenith radio here. These mid century modern hand irons. They're not the greatest, but they're decent. These other and irons, I just grabbed them because it said uh, 50 cents. Um, this old sink, which is actually pretty cool. And it came with two leg parts. We got this silver tone. Got the decent color there. And we get this Telefunken. I think that's a German. There's a dollar. This was a dollar. Uh, we got these three clocks. Three bucks each. I mean, it, well, two, sorry, two bucks each. I mean, you can say no. Wait, you're not gonna take those with you? <clears throat> oh, dogs are barking, let me go figure that out. All right, we're almost through. Almost towards the end. We got this for two bucks. It's a nice card catalog. This piano that's a mouse ink, which is kind of cool. And this uh, little chest of drawer type thing. Old school one. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight drawers. What's this? Does this pull out? I thought that did when I saw it too. Nice, not bad, right? And I think that's it. That's what we got. 500 spent and 10 bucks and quarters. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, I went back to get, grab my quarters and I kept going. I kept going until every dollar was spent in the car. So, that's what we did. Um, if you like any of this content and you like uh, going through any random junk, well, come on back. Plenty of that. All right. And uh, thanks for coming by. I hope you learned something. Um, uh, you got to spend money to make money. The hero. And you got to uh, grind it fast. Um, so work, 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 list, list, list. And keep picking. Peace.